Hello everyone and welcome to the next part of the project 304. In this video we will actually do three uh, sub-assemblies at once. We will do the bottom or as I call it here the belly which is this and we will do both sides right one and left one. So in the end, the model will look like this. So we will now go to the, to the bottom itself and take a look at the assembly. So it has this part, then this big part, uh, this bottom part actually connects to connects to um, the well bottom I guess <laughs> already existing via those four holes. Now this part is part of the hyperspace generator. This is the front or end depending on your orientation of the hyperspace generator. The second one Here we have covers and here we have covers for the hyperspace generators. And that's it. So that's the first sub-assembly. And the second is the side which is here. This is a little bit more uh, difficult assembly uh, because of the uh, amount of parts and the assembly itself. Uh, here we have uh, this bottom part with the lock. The um, storage opening, I guess, or airlock. The top part that has corresponding holes to the bottom part and holes here and here and of course a hole here for the part that is already printed that big part then we have all those ribs. In all those ribs we have all these pins. Here we have this little pin, the same one that is used to um, pin the covers. Now we have here this cover that has those thieves and that goes through the parts basically making those two parts one uh, tightly locked part and locking everything up via this um, lock and via those two thieves to the already existing parts for the better stability. So it's uh, held both through here and through all those ribs. Then, once again, hyperspace generator. And then, pistons. Or, I don't know if they are actually pistons, but they most certainly look like that. And then we have the three reinforcement rods. And on those roads uh, in the future, the hunger bay will rest. Not only on them, but mainly on them. Okay, and I did one thing uh, additional, and that's the addition of this cover. You will not have this cover available. It's only for me, because during the process of assembly, I actually managed to 
kind of uh, not break but uh, damage the part here and there was quite a nasty dent so I simply made this cover and glued it in to basically hide the dent so that's the right side and the left side is exactly the same only uh, other way around it's mirror part so no point to actually show everything because it's the same thing as with the right side okay so this is basically it now you can see the corresponding part here so i would say for the cat that's all and let's go straight to the printing okay uh, so here we are and uh, here we have all the parts uh, that we will now assemble uh, to make the bottom now uh, unfortunately i already started with the assembly because i thought that i'm recording but i was not uh, anyway i was already inserting those four covers here uh, i'm sorry about that i thought that is recording but it was not anyway uh, we will insert this inside uh, those uh, parts that will create the hyperspace generators and then we will also have those parts uh, one confession right here you can see here we have those uh, sorry here we have those four rectangular holes and they uh, go to those four re uh, rectangular pins unfortunately those pins are exactly five by five millimeters but the holes I made 5.1 meaning that they slide very nicely but they don't hold uh, that's oversight from my side and uh, on the 3D, da 3D data it's already fixed but uh, right now so if you will print it uh, after me uh, you will not have the issue uh, what I will have to do uh, simply because I don't have a tight fit I will add here and here a little bit of glue uh, so that it's uh, really tightly uh, locked in place so anyway we will start with this part and uh, this part actually has all those uh, hyperspace generator thingies so uh, we will take one and it has six holes uh, sorry three holes uh, this has six pins because it's for both and we simply Put it in place the same from the other side like this then we have those covers And I see that I made those pins too, uh, too thick and they now don't go all the way in. Well, yeah, what can you do? I will simply not use them now and uh, shorten them and then add them there. But now we can put the end and it has a pin. And here we have corresponding hole okay and that's it uh, as I see I will have to use another uh, layer of paint spray paint spray okay so those two parts I will ignore for now and now we will have to Added. Now here we have four holes, here we have four pins, so basically we have to... Okay, I had to uh, use quite a bi uh, bit of force, but it's now on place, yeah, as you can see it really needs some uh, additional layer of paint. Anyway, now we will have this and we can add it here. It has two holes here that goes to those two pins and those four 
Yeah, so as I said, I will add a little bit of glue. But you uh, will not be uh, forced to do this. So it is there. And now the last thing is to actually add this. It has four holes here. And here we have four pins. Okay. Once again, I had to use some force, but it's pushed in the place and it holds really, really nicely. So, yeah, that's it. Now, the only thing that remains are actually those those two covers. So I will simply make, make the pins shorter and then add them there. Maybe I uh, will once again use glue and simply glue them like this. Maybe it will even look better. I'm not sure right now. Okay, so I actually did it. I uh, simply glued them in. And now I will give it a second a layer of paint spray and then it should be nice. Okay, so this was the uh, bottom. So that will be all. And uh, we will now go to the next part. So, and here we have the parts for the right side. We will start by uh, taking these, taking the pin and put it inside. And here as well, like this. And then we will take those two halves of a piston looking thing and simply put it inside like this and we will do it four times but bear in mind that three times the piston have this end and only one time it has cut out here that's because this actually goes to the back of the of the ship and those other three, three don't so we will start by actually attaching all those parts to the ship. Okay, all are in place. So now we will take this part and we will slide slide it to those ribs Okay, now we will turn it upside down and take this part and it has a, a lock here and here we have a pin. So slide it here and then here we have those holes and here we have a piece that has okay it's there though the tight fit was really really tight and i managed to actually dent the part a little bit but it doesn't really matter because this part would be uh, hidden anyway uh, by the superstructure Maybe I will add some part simply to cover it. I am not sure right now. Anyway, I will put the pistons down. Okay, now 
uh, this very small part that's the same that went to all the covers so if you use the part that I ha had you should still have a three left uh, from when you were actually doing the um, the uh, covers now we will add the hyperspace generator the copper and the front yeah, I see that it still requires another layer of paint now here we have those reinforcements rods they come here okay so they are inserted and last but not least the storage entrance which goes here through here and well it's like this so that's the whole right side now obviously uh, the left side remains though I already have uh, many pieces printed out so yeah that will come next and as you can see here we have the second uh, side uh, I didn't bother to, to actually record the assembly, it's exactly the same as with the right side, so yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. If you manage to do this one, then you will do this one, simple as that. Um, no, now, what I would like to, to mention or point is, well, this plate here, and mainly this plate here, uh, those are not in the CAD, uh, those will be not uh, for you available because the only reason is that here uh, it's not visible now I screwed the the part and simply I uh, glued the cover in to hide it and I added this one so that it's symmetrical and that's it even now uh, we have a little dent but I think that one actually looks okay, so I will leave it. Not to mention that in the end it won't be even easy visible. I don't think even this one would be visible because now we, here we would have the old, the the all, the entire uh, superstructure. Uh, anyway, now as you can see, the model is starting to get really, really large. I'm already having an issue to actually, you know. Uh, position it and place it somewhere now as you can see uh, what uh, remains are both hunger base engines and the superstructure itself uh, one thing I would like to show is the bottom so here is the bottom uh, I don't like it here uh, Another layer will be added. But it already has all four hyperspace generators. So yeah, at least that's the good thing. Okay, so this is the ship so far. And yeah, that will be all for now. So thank you for watching and bye bye.